new video you have been waiting for and you are not going to want to miss. My name is Cassandra and I am the founder of Next Level Wardrobe, a personal styling company for successful professionals. And in this video, I am going to break down everything you need to know about quince. I'm going to be sharing my unsponsored, my personal feedback on if you should buy it, if you should stay away from the brand, how the fits are, how it washes and wears, and more. Now be sure to hit that subscribe button and so you can get all of our up-to-date style videos. I have worked many avenues within the fashion industry. I have experience as a merchandiser, as a buyer, as a planner. I have some experience with design and product development, tons of experience with marketing. I have a lot of opinions on brands and what they do well and what they don't. Quince is a direct-to-consumer brand that says they offer high-quality items at an affordable price. Now, I'm going to be the judge of that. The company says that they focus on sustainable and ethical practices. So that is at the core of their businesses. They not only do clothing, but they also sell home goods and accessories. They may even do shoes now. Quince says that they cut out the middleman and markups that you typically find in a traditional retail setting. And this allows them to offer luxury like products for more affordable prices. One thing that they are really big on is that they emphasize transparency. They emphasize it in their pricing, in their sourcing, everything that touches the garment all the way to when it gets to your home because they believe that customers should know where their products came from, how they were made, etc. Now, I'm going to be digging into this a little bit more, but you should definitely do your own research. Now, how this came to be was I had been wanting to review Quince for a long time. I had it on my calendar to order some product, do this video, et cetera. Life got in the way. So I did choose about five to six products from their website. So here we are. So the first item that I am going to be uh, reviewing, now this is called the Washable Stretch Silk Notch Collar Blouse. This is a size small. I do like the V, I think it fits pretty nicely. It is cut a bit long and the sleeves are long. You can see all of the fabric here. Now, let me show you what it would look like a bit more styled. So because this is a thinner fabric, I'm going to tuck it in and I would advise anyone that is wearing blouses like this, the thinner the fabric, the more you wanna tuck it in all the way around. And you can see it just kind of gives it a little bit of shape. It looks nice. Um, this feels a bit tight though. So I want to cuff it up and let's see how that feels because I would never probably wear it down like this. I would most likely cuff it up. So roll up the sleeves two or three times just to jazz it up a little bit. But this looks pretty good. I do like the collar. I think it sits nicely. Once it's styled a little bit, it looks fine. It's definitely not a wow piece. It's not like when you have this on, you're gonna get tons of compliments or noticed, but sometimes you just need pieces like this. The real question is, how does it wash and wear? So stay tuned. What I do like is the color. So you can see it's this beautiful chocolate color, which is kind of trending right now. Um, it looks really nice with neutrals. It pairs back with neutrals. We style a lot of clients in this brown. And uh, the fabric content is 90% silk, 10% spandex. So you can see that here. And the hand is okay. It feels a little cheap to me. If you have ever felt real silk, you know what that feels like. This hand is nice and I understand why they put stretch in it from a comfort and a functionality perspective, but it does feel a little cheap. Now the next product is this, which is the Cotton Modal Muscle Tank. And you can see it's just a basic tank. This is a size small. So right off the bat, it does look very big to me. It is cut wide for sure. Now muscle tanks aren't meant to be super tight, but this looks a bit wider than usual. 
the other thing that I'm on the fence about is the transparency. So you can see my skin color. I will be trying this on with a nude bra. So let's see how, how it wears. The hand is very soft. You can see here. So this is good for warmer months. And the fabric here is 50% cotton, 50% modal. So it is cut pretty long. You can see it's also pretty see-through, so people who are nervous about transparency, I probably would not buy this. Uh, the armhole is okay. It feels a little flimsy to me, uh, but I guess if it's for the purpose of a white summer shirt, it's fine. Um, the cut here is a little off. You can see it's kind of puckering out right here, and it just looks a little sloppy. The neckline is a little weird. I would rather have it up here and sit more nicely, but you see what happens here. It kind of buckles out. So let's tuck this in and see how it looks. It may look better tucked in. And we're gonna fill it out a little bit, fluff it out. The back is okay. This is okay. If I was going shopping for a white muscle tank, I would not buy this. It feels a little flimsy. I think the fit is a little off right here as well. You don't want it to pucker. You want it to fit like that. And you can see the difference between when it fits correctly and when it doesn't. I wish the collar was a little higher. I think there's better quality muscle tanks out there. So I would skip on this one. The next item, the linen pants. So 100% European linen pants. Not quite sure why they added European to the description, but okay. Now these pants are a beautiful navy color. You can see here, I love navy. I think it goes with everything. It always looks so sophisticated and more approachable versus black. So I love the color. I love that they do have an elastic band all the way around. So that is good for body changes, even body changes and bloat that happen throughout the day. The one thing that I am a bit concerned about is the transparency. So you can see here, it's only one layer. And that is probably because they didn't want to spend more money on putting in another layer because that would increase the cost of the garment, decrease their margin. But you can see it is very see-through. So let's see how these look on. And I actually like these. Now, I think the width of the pant is good. The elastic feels comfortable. Uh, I wish they were a little longer. They're cut a little short. I'm about 5'6", so if you are taller, it is going to be even more cropped for you and they may look weird. So if you're 5'6 and below, these could be a good option for you. The width of the pant is nice. The fabric does not feel itchy or scratchy. This is a size small. I'm usually in between a size small and medium, but I think the size small fits best. It has a bit of a tailored fit on the bottom, but it's not too tight. Overall, I like these. I would probably buy and buy them myself if I was spending my own money. The real question is, how do they wash and wear? I actually have been wearing these for the past hour. I've been moving around in them a lot, and I don't like these. Um, here's why. So the fabric, when I put them on at first, uh, did not feel itchy, but as I sat in them, they definitely started to feel itchy. Uh, the linen gives out a little bit, so it felt a little tight when I put it on, but it is bagged out. Um, if it's tight, I find the pockets kind of flare out a little bit, so it looks like this. That's a sign that something is too tight. They did relax, but the rise of the pant feels a little short as well. Um, but most of all, I wouldn't recommend these because the fabric is itchy and I know for many of you, comfort is so important and you would just be scratching yourself all day. Next up, we have this sweater, which is 100% organic cotton fisherman crew sweater in size small. You can see it has a pretty hefty knit. Now, I do like that about this. You can see it's pretty thick, so it would be obviously very good for the warmer months. 
it is cut a bit short. So crop styles have been trending for a while. There are a ton of crop styles for women out there. This is no exception. They definitely cut it shorter. Uh, the fabric content is 100% organic cotton. Um, the fabric instructions say we can throw this in the washer. I'm definitely going to be testing that. The collar looks nice. Okay. I like the baseball kind of raglan sleeve setting. The cropped, I don't mind as much. So I would probably do like a front tuck like this. Scrunch up the sleeves just to jazz it up a little bit. This is pretty nice. I do, it feels like a sweater. It's not itchy, it feels comfortable. I do love the color. Now, let's see how it washes and wears because this fabric tag actually says that you can put it in the washer. So will it stand up to the test? And last but not least, we have one more item which is 100% European linen button down dress and it has a tie so you can cinch it in at the waist. The color is very beautiful. The silhouette is very classic, very good for warm bunts. Uh, again, my feedback is how transparent it is. You can see, and this isn't even much sunlight on it. I can't imagine when you are outside. They did not double line it. You can see this part is double lined. This part is not. I kind of wish they would have double lined it. Um, the buttons do look a little bit cheap to me, but hey, if they uh, want to pass on cost savings to the consumer, they're going to cut corners with design elements. So buttons, for example, double lining, etc. Here is the 100% European linen dress. And you can see it's just a button down dress, very easy to put on. I do like how it cinches in at the waist. The sleeves hit at the right spot. I do like this V, the collar um, stays down and looks nice as well. I love how it has pockets as well. Again, the color is nice. Everything looks good. Uh, it feels like a little bit of a basic silhouette to me, but again, this is what you are paying for when you shop these sort of brands. You're not gonna get a lot of innovation in designs and fabrications and details because they just don't have the capacity to in their margin model. So you're gonna find very basic silhouettes, very basic fabrics and stuff. Um, but let's see how this washes and wears because I'm curious to see if it will look like this once I put it through the wash. It is time to launder these items. I have all the items here, the silk, the knit. I personally would not put this in the washer, but they said it's okay. All of these items that they sent to me, I'm going to launder them. I will follow the instructions on the care label to a T, but they all say that these are machine friendly, which I am shocked at. The real test will be how do they look after? thing that I am skeptical about is the machine wash and dry for this knit. Uh, you can see here that the tag says all of that is okay. So now we are at the tumble dry low phase and most people would just want to throw this in the dryer. So I'm going to test it and see how it actually turns out versus laying flat to dry. So it's in the dryer. I am doing delicate, less dry, because that is my low setting. And then we're gonna start. Let's see what happens. It is time to share with you my honest and unfiltered thoughts about quince. Now, coming from the fashion industry, I worked in the fashion industry for over 25 years as a buyer, as a merchandiser, as a planner, and now as a stylist. And so I am coming into this product and brand review video uh, 
through that lens. And so I have seen thousands of brands and products. I've seen the best of the best. I've seen the worst of the worst and everything in between. So I'm coming into this final product and brand review through that lens. As a reminder, I did launder all of the items that I'm going to go through and I follow their care instructions to a T. All of my opinions in this video are true. They are not compensating me in any way. And it is just my opinions in terms of what I think of the brand and their products. First up were the linen items. So I got a pant and a dress from Quince. Now what was good was the fabric got softer after I laundered it. That was amazing and a pleasant surprise. We don't want to wear scratchy, itching fabric. And if we know that it is that way and we see it in our closet, we're not going to wear it. And so I was pleasantly surprised that this happened. But the bad part of these garments was the fit. And even though it can be hard, it's hard to see the proper fit of the garments post laundering, but I could feel that they had shrunk slightly. Next up is the white model tank that I bought. Post laundering, the fabric actually did get a little bit softer, which was awesome to experience. But on the bad side, the fit was still a problem. So you can see underneath the arms that it was bagging out a bit, which means the dimensions of the garment were just a little odd. Um, and then the other thing was the length stayed the same. So that was actually a pleasant surprise. And so this tank could be good for tall people who are looking for longer uh, top options. Overall, I wouldn't recommend this tank because I have bought better fitting tanks, nicer quality tanks around the same price point. The Fisherman sweater is a piece that I was very reluctant to follow the care instructions because it said to wash cold and then to tumble dry low. I never do that for my knits ever, ever. I keep them away from the dryer altogether. I keep them away from from mostly the washing machine and I hand wash if I need to. So I was nervous to follow care instructions, but I did anyways for you all. And I was disappointed with how the sweater turned out. Overall, the dimensions shrunk a lot. So the length of the garment shrunk, even the width of the armhole shrunk. And I found it a little bit difficult to put on this sweater because of that. So that was the biggest miss of this sweater. The fabric did get softer post laundering, but the bad fit did not make up for that. The silk top was a piece that I was not crazy about, but the silk top got softer post laundering. Um, I didn't see any blemishes on the fabric at all. The fit was mostly the same. The collar still laid nicely. The silk top is very basic though. I wasn't wowed by it. It wasn't a standout piece in any way. I, I also question the durability of this top ongoing. So if you continue to throw it in the washer, tumble dry low or lay flat, like how is that going to wear over time? Would I recommend quince? And my short answer is no, and here's why. In my opinion, it is no different than shopping at a fast fashion brand such as H&M or Zara. The products are no different in terms of design, fabrication, or fit. And as a personal stylist, after seeing thousands of brands and products, I was not wowed by what I experienced. And as a stylist and as a former buyer and merchandiser, I see retail prices that are so low, they lead with that on their website. And whenever I see that from a brand, it makes me weary because I know how much work from various people goes into making that single garment, that one garment that you're trying on from designers to the production team, to the people actually making the garments, there are a lot of people who need to be paid fairly. And when the price is low, usually there are people who aren't compensated a living wage. That was one alarm bell for me. Now, I think one thing that they really have done well, well, two things is their marketing and branding. And honestly, when I stepped back and I was looking through all their socials and their websites, um, that is why they are so popular. That's why you get 
targeted the ads, why you see the influencers wear them and why Quince surrounds you. They lead with their pricing. It's all over the website and they make it a point to tell you about the deal that you are getting. If you take a look at their website and look at it through a marketing and branding lens, you'll see that it is very sleek and modern. It's inviting, it's easy to navigate, shop from, and they even have these charts the handy dandy charts that show you all of the money that you are saving on the product when you buy from them versus the originators. So when you Google them, they have done an excellent job at marking because nothing but positive articles come up. The glowing reviews of their product along with outfit selfies, but what's also in these product review articles are affiliate links from the writer. So this means that those writers are incentivized to give you honest reviews so they can get a cut off of what you are purchasing. There is nothing wrong with someone using affiliate links or buying from affiliate links, but it is important to understand everyone's incentives. Now, as a stylist, there is one exception to where I would recommend shopping quince. And as a stylist, I work with a lot of clients who are going through transitional phases. So for example, they could be going through body changes, either gaining weight or losing weight, health issues, pregnancy. And in my opinion, that warrants going a lower price point on the items you are buying for your wardrobe. So quince would be an option for you as in my opinion, a fast fashion brand. Um, so you can fill any gaps in your wardrobe. And of course, I know you are going to follow the NLW style system. So all in all, I would not recommend quince only for those going through body changes. If you want more product brand and service reviews that are unfiltered and honest, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Instagram at Next Level Wardrobe.